Hi, I'm Adam Drake, and today I want to do a quick video on my MBX8 Eco. I want to show you kind of an updated or slightly modified uh, electronic configuration or layout. This originally started, Ryan Mayfield did this back, uh, I think it was right before the 2021 DNC. Um, I now have this on my car, so just want to kind of show you some of the things that had to be cut or trimmed or modified to make it work and how everything kind of fits and looks with the Teak Electronics. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so here we have my MBX8 Eco. And to, for starters, I removed the uh, electronic speed controller tray and then you're actually shifting and moving the speed controller forward. So it actually sits in the battery tray. Now you won't be able to do this uh, kind of modification if you're still using a standard uh, length battery. But Ryan and I are both using the new Protec 6000 milliamp 4S shorty pack. And with that, it gives you plenty of room. You can see there's actually still a gap to where if you want, you could still play with the weight and shift the battery a little bit farther back. But we've been running it with the battery all the way forward. And then I actually have two little uh, aluminum stops that I have screwed into the tray. That way the battery can't shift back. And part of the reason for that is because the second battery strap you're not using anymore because it, it wouldn't really catch the back of the battery. So you just have one strap. So I wanna make sure that the battery doesn't have any movement forward because the battery's pretty heavy, and if it kind of starts moving, it potentially could slide back and hit the speed controller. So I had to also drill a hole. I just used a body reamer and drilled a hole for the ESC wires to still run underneath and then over uh, to the receiver box. But this just helps not only shift the weight forward, it's also a bit lighter because you're, again, you're removing the plastic mount from the back, some screws, and overall just kind of pushing that weight forward and um, changing the weight balance of the car just a little bit. Now, with running this configuration, in the past, we never used to run the 20 gram weight in the back. Ryan runs a 20 gram weight, I believe, most of the time now with this setup. Um, I still kind of go back and forth. The last couple races I've run without the 20 gram weight, um, just with the 4S shorty shifted forward and the ESC shifted forward. But yeah, just wanted to show you kind of how quick and easy and clean it was to go ahead if you have the shorty batteries to move your electronics forward and change the weight balance of your car a little bit.